Like, I don't know what it is, but something smells really good around here. I don't know what it is. Maybe my sister changed the candle or something? I'll ask her later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel, and this week, I got this little something something that I found on the internet. Subtle things flirting experts do at parties which guys don't notice. And we are about to find out what those experts do at parties when they are drinking because we need to find out where which group I belong to. An expert. <laughs> By the way, this is when you are drinking with other people because when you come to Korea, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get lots of chances to drink with other people because that's what we do, we drink. Anyways, this is what people do when they are drinking with other people. Especially when there are people that they kind of like. People they want to flirt with. Okay, let's go. When heavily drunk, normal girls, they just lose control on themselves. Their makeup is smudged, their stocking has ripped, but they have no idea. They just keep creating their most embarrassing stories. I get pretty bad, but that sounds pretty embarrassing, so Probably I'm not normal, better than normal. And this sounds dangerous, guys. Remember, um, do not drink with your empty stomach. Eat stuff before you drink. I learned it the hard way. All right, flirting beginners. Now that they feel drinks in their blood, they show their full ego that they don't reveal normally. I, ego? People that do ego when they are drinking is horrible like it's so cringy it's so obvious that they are doing that not true so ah it's upsetting i'm so sorry you had to see that please don't click away and let's just say i will have a problem with these people so they are not me obviously and if you are one i don't want to drink with you next flirting advanced they try to get it all together go to the bathroom with their pouch and redo the makeup full makeup Pink blusher is optional. Um, I wouldn't do the full redo makeup. Like, I'm not gonna take my pouch to the bathroom. Probably I'm just gonna apply my lip balm or my chapstick. When you're drinking, who cares? And other people won't even notice that I am applying my makeup. The person that I want to flirt with is already probably drunk too. He's not gonna notice. I don't know. Get it, trying to get it all together sounds like a smart idea because you don't want to embarrass yourself But doing the whole makeup thing is a little bit too much Gotta say Okay, flirting experts Real experts never get hammered They just pretend they are <sighs> And the best actress award goes to flirting experts Yeah, yeah, smart I get it You wouldn't make any mistake but are you having fun because you're just obsessed with the idea of making yourself as like this person perfect person have fun a little bit for god's sake all right episode number two when they lose at the drinking game normal girls gotta play the game fair and square they take their punishment shots and they brace themselves and play the game again huh it's it's kind of like me. Well, there are hundreds of drinking games in Korea. You have to know the rules. Um, otherwise, you're gonna get hammered really fast. And the punishment shot, Perju, you have to drink it with the rhythm and the, with the special song. Mashara, mashara, mashara. There's this whole thing. I'm gonna do this in another video if you guys want it. Comment down below if you wanna get to know more about them. But. Yeah, you gotta play the game fair and square. I'm, I'm just gonna see like if you're taking the punishment shot. Hey, gotta finish that. Pop, pop. Flirting beginners. They take the shots hesitantly. Ooh, ooh. But actually, they enjoy it. Oh, there's some acting going on. They sometimes enjoy losing at games because they wanna get drunk faster. I'm kind of like in between normal and beginners when it comes to playing drinking games. Flirting advanced, they request for a black knight. So when you request a black knight, someone, a guy, has to drink the shot, punishment shot instead of you, on behalf of you. But they're gonna request like a small favor. Sometimes they ask you to sing, sometimes they ask you to dance. So requesting a black knight means that you're asking him to do something nice for you. And he has to ask you to do something, so 
there is this like a little connection between you two. Very smart. Smart. Planning experts, they request to keep their shots for later. They are waiting for the opportunity to do a love shot. Huh. Excess love shot. Anyways, this never exists because if someone loses at the game and asks, oh, I'm gonna take it later. What the heck? Take it now. I'm not going to move on until you take the shot. Take it. Wait, who asks to keep their shots for later? Anyways, doing a love shot with the person you like, mm, so, sounds fun but really awkward because everyone around you will be looking at you and it done get like level one, level one, level one being this arm crossing arms one and level two is hugging and drinking this you're hugging this person <laughs> comment down below if you want to know more about it but uh level three it gets more sexual as it gets to higher level and there are a lot of people cheering for that so it's really awkward honestly not a fan of it okay episode number three when they move to the second bar Icha. because when you drink in korea we usually do bar hopping it's more like restaurant hopping because it's not a typical american bar setting but more like a diner where they serve food when they move to the second place Icha, normal girls they take the initiative and set an example they volunteer for the search party to find the second place yeah because you're drinking with a group of people so some people in the group have to go out to find out which restaurant is spacious enough for like have room for all of them i am not a fan of doing this because it's cold outside especially around these times i appreciate those uh, normal girls like it's very nice of them flirting beginners they run to the bathroom take all the time they need to fix the makeup and come out they are taking time because they don't want to sit in the corner at the second place whoa that's a political move because think about it it's a restaurant setting if you get there first then you're gonna have to feel from the edge of the table so you will be sitting in the corner i think this is because they don't want to be excluded from the conversation and they want to be the center of the attention ah it's, this is smart but i am not a fan of it because in that case i would feel bad for my friends who had to sit at the corner i like changing the seats once in a while because i want to talk to everybody Hmm. Learning advanced, they approach the person they like and start talking to them naturally and walk to the second place with them <gasps> to sit next to them. This is nice. I think I... I'd like to think that I am advanced level because it's kind of natural. When you're moving from a place to another, naturally you'd like to go up to the person you like and talk to them. Hey, are you having fun? How's it going? Experts! They approach the person they like, suggest them to get ice creams at the convenience store for other people. How nice! I mean, if I were them, call me selfish, but I was gonna say, hey, let's get ice cream because I feel dizzy or I crave for it, not for other people. So this is so nice. If I were drinking with them, I would just do what you gotta do and give me that ice cream, thank you. But going to the convenience store for ice cream is a typical move that you kind of pull, pull off for the person you like because going to the convenience store at night with the person you've been drinking with creates like a very private atmosphere. You, you could just talk to that person. It's like a little walk between just you two. Could be romantic. You could talk to each other about stuff that you couldn't share with a bunch of other people. It's nice. Episode number four, when they are leaving the party. Normal girls, they take other people to the third place for more party. Or they are already sent to home by the taxi because they are too drunk. Well, the first sentence sounds like me. When I am drinking, I demand more drinks because as stupid as it sounds i i don't know what it is like maybe i think oh i'm happy and i'm 
having so much fun. So if I drink more, I'll be happier and I'll have more fun. Stupid thoughts, but it happens all the time. I convince other people, hey, let's get something more. Hey, let's go, let's go. I always do that and then next day I always regret it and I kind of like make other people Hey, why didn't you stop me? Beginners, they act like they can't walk straight to give an impression that they need to be protected <sighs> That's awful That's cringy I would see right through that Don't do that, don't pretend like you can't walk It's just so cringy, never be the beginners Advanced, they ask the person they like to go home together telling them that they leave they live nearby Cool, but what if you really live far away from him? Are you gonna still go with him? That's kinda cute though Cause you want to spend as much time as you can with the person you like So yeah Experts, they're already gone If you count the number of people, there is also one less guy Okay, so they already decided to leave the party Two of them to do, to spend, um, cool. Episode number five. When there is a competitor at the party, normal girls, they just say, why would there be a competitor at a party? They are just there for the fun. Like, they, they have no desire to flirt with anybody. Everyone is just their friends. Cool. Beginners, spill competitors' flaws to everybody as if it was unintentional. Oh, so it's horrible. I hate beginners here. Oh, hey, Kate. How's Jake doing? Your ex-boyfriend who you cheated on. Oops. Was it a secret? Like, that's horrible. Advanced. They try hard to make conversations with guys about them so that all the attention would be focused on them. So like, me, 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 me person. Flirting experts. They give compliments to their competitors but only about things they have themselves so that other people would think but you're already attractive you already have it oh hey i like your smile but then other people would say oh hey but like you smile a lot too stuff like that i like that they are giving compliments to other people but hopefully they are not just fake they are not doing that just only to fish for compliments from other people it's very manipulative I think I've seen all those people when I am drinking with a bunch of other people You will come across those people too But let's not be those like weird people who are cringy or faking stuff Because it's so obvious Just be you and have fun Try to have fun Just eat stuff before you go I'm not your mom, I'm sorry I'm gonna stop, you're gonna drink responsibly so I'm gonna stop here alright, that's all for this week's video subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends and I'll see you guys next Sunday peace out, love you, and goodbye